Over 50 families were nearly cut off from Cape Coast as the only access road to the community was blocked by a fence wall belonging to a Catholic school in the area. The school, Cornelia Corneli School of the Holy Child Jesus, blocked the road to the community, claiming the land belongs to them, leaving the community stranded. It took the intervention of the engineering unit of the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly to demolish the fence wall to enable the community have access to their homes. Community members of a switcher extension who spoke to City News after the incident indicated that there had been a number of engagements with the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly to construct a road to link the community to adjoining areas. The affected residents hoped the government, through the Metropolitan Assembly, would construct a road to the community as soon as possible to avoid such incidents in future. The neighbors here contributed to repair this bridge. And all of us have been using this bridge over time. Then in 2019, we saw a notice that they want to block us from also using that particular bridge. So we engage them. So we have done the engagement. We have gone to Metro Engineer, Road Engineer. We've gone to MCE. So the MCE came around, our last engagement, the MCE came around to check the, the possibility of getting an alternative route to our, our area. Now the entire community is cut off and they cannot move. Even if somebody is sick, if there's fire, there's nobody can, nobody can move out. The whole community, there's no road, there's no access road. Because this area is covered, is engulfed with a valley throughout. This issue has been going on for almost about, let's say, three, four, five years now. It has to do with access. Um, and the land belongs to two families. So what has happened was that the other side of the family where we bought our lands from left a place earmarked for a road. And then the other part which did this side, which belongs to the colleagues, well, they said that per the, um, the town and country regional manager's uh, understanding, they have bought this place for a long time and therefore they could build a road or the fence wall in between the road that has been earmarked. We never had a problem. So the issue came to the fact that we needed to find an amicable solution as to how we can coexist and then for us also to have access to our place. The Member of Parliament for Cape Coast North, Kwame Namintanyaku, who was called to the scene, promised to support the construction of a road to the community. There was an agreement earlier on between the school and CCMA regarding access road to the residents. And then unfortunately that has not been taken up. So today the leadership of the school were fed up and decided to block the road so that residents will not be able to have access to their respective areas. And then uh, we've had a discussion with them and they've given us the opportunity to make sure that the block area has been taken down and then steps will be taken. And apparently the CCMA engineer has spoken to some of the residents and we are going to put some monies together as residents and the rest, the MP will also support in getting some COVID and then we can have some COVID and then we can have some access for the residents within the area. So I'm sure within the course of some few weeks, we'll be able to work on that. The community can now have access to their community, but they are calling on the government to fast track their own road so that the school cannot block them again next time. From Cape Coast, my name is Georgina Apia reporting for City News.